Okay, so this is finally the Tech Pouch Roundup video that I've been promising for maybe almost a year now. We're gonna take a look at all these tech pouches and some of them get awards. We're doing it like an awards show. Not all of them get awards, but here and there, we got some winners. Let's dive in. Now I love a good tech pouch just as much as anyone. So some of these are ones that I've purchased. Some of them have been sent to me for testing and review. And a couple of them are going to be given away to you in my audience. So stay tuned for details on how to get your own. One of these, two of these are being given away. There's a bunch of different brands here represented. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different tech pouches to take a quick look at. I'm going to blast through these pretty fast. But I'm hoping that with this video, some of you just might be exposed to some new tech pouches you didn't know about and or uh, you can put some in the comments that I don't know about because there's a bunch out there that I would like to try and I haven't had the chance yet. Okay, let's start with the Alpaca Pencil Case Pro. This is a little on the smaller side, but it's interesting in its design. It's got uh, kind of the, the, a normal pencil pocket up here at the top. Um, but on the, on the back side here, it's got a vertical pocket with a, uh, with a, another pocket on the inside. So this is for longer items. Imagine, I imagine a, like an iPad pencil going in there or some taller items like a flashlight or let's go ahead and throw like a Sharpie big, this is a big old fat Sharpie. Let's throw that Sharpie in there and stick it on there. And you can see that there is. A spot for your Sharpie. And this is made out of x pack material and it has the blaze orange interior so that you can see your things inside really well. Now this is just a handy little pouch to just have floating around in a bag um, or in a pocket of a bag. It's got Hypalon zipper pulls and it's just a handy little bag to have thrown in your backpack or your bag or throw it in your console of your car or whatever it is where you need a tech pouch. I think this is a pretty, pretty simple, basic tech pouch that has a unique concept going on here with this long vertical pocket in the back. Okay, now, so while we're on the, the brand of Alpaca, here's another Alpaca product. This is the Alpaca Utility Pouch made from almost the same material. It's got the X-Pack material on the outside, Hypalon zippers again, water sealed zip on this front pocket. And these, this Alpaca pouch, comes with a, sh a shoulder strap and it can be attached here on the back and it can become a sling. So that's a nice bonus feature of this one. So it's, it'd be a very, very small sling, but sometimes you may want to throw it over your shoulder and just carry it around. And so you got the strap that comes with it. On the back side, there's a carry handle and this is where you mount the, the strap to. There's a, a water sealed zip on the back side for additional storage. And then you open it up and you've got some storage options here. It's got a, a, a large pocket here that's a good size for a phone. It's got a zip there. But what's tricky about this zip is it, it seems like it zips all the way across and it does, but there's a, it's sewn right here. So you got some, some pockets. So, so you're not gonna be able to use this thing all the way across. On this side, you've got a pocket that's pretty big right here, about the size of, you know, four fingers. You got elastic here and here, and you've got pockets there and there. You got a pen holder there in the middle. So overall, this is a pretty small little tech pouch, but it does help you keep a few of your things organized. And it converts into a small sling. All right, we've got an award winner right here. This is the Nomadic Tech organizer. This is a chunky little boy. Um, and the award that it wins is out of all these on my desk, this is the most durable. This, your stuff is, is most protected out of all these pouches. This one is going to protect your things the most. It's, it's pretty rigid and it's got aqua guard zip all the way around. It's water resistant and it's quite durable. It's, it's pretty much like a hard shell. So it doesn't have a lot of give to it. It's not going to squish in your bag, which is one of the reasons 
I don't use it all that much is because uh, it has no smush to it. The nice thing about it, it's got a, a hang handle here at the top and it's got a pass through handle here on the back. And they say this is for your hand so that you, you don't drop it or lose it when you're messing with it. But it also uh, can be strapped to a bag or, or just made to, uh, to hang from something. The zipper, it's a strong zipper. And let's look at the way, the way this inside looks. So you've got these clear pockets. These are plastic, these are not mesh. They're, they're a vinyl or a plastic. And so it seals up all your stuff in there real nicely. These are not aqua zips right here, but you got two, two pockets with a little bit of depth, but not much. You're not gonna be fitting a mouse in there. Then you have this, this flap that opens like this. And you got another pocket there. Again, not much depth on that. So you're not gonna be putting a mouse in there or a charger in there. On the back side of that, you've got these elastic, elastic bands. These are good for cable management. And then on the back side here, this is where your depth is. This is where you're gonna be able to fit a charger. Uh, in fact, my Apple uh, laptop charger does fit in uh, this pocket here. And I'll show you that in a second. On this side, you have another elastic band for, for pens. Let's go ahead and test that Sharpie going right into there. Yeah, there we go. You can see that Sharpie. It's got another one on that side. So it's got one on each side of this. So it's a little bit like a little bowl in here. And it's good for larger items in there. You can fit a small camera in there probably. That's the Nomadic Tech Organizer. It wins the award for most durable in my pile here. Okay, it's time for another award winner. This is the Bellroy Tech Kit, and this is one of the ones that I'll be giving away. So one of the lucky viewers of this video, as long as you're in the first 30 days of after I post it, the instructions for how to win are in the description of the video. So be sure to check that and check all the links for all these bags. The affiliate links are in the description as well as the rules for how to win a giveaway. So this is Bellroy Tech Kit. This wins the award, my award, Kendrick's award for uh, most underrated, which I know Bellroy is a pretty popular brand, but um, and this, this tech kit's been around a little while. It's not something that's terribly new. It's still underrated for how well it, it comes together. This is a really nicely done tech organizer, tech kit. And I'm able to do my review on this because of Huckberry. Huckberry.com, they sent this to me so I could check it out and they sent me two of them. So one of them I'll be able to give away. So that's how I'm giving one away. So check out Huckberry.com and give them a thanks. So this is the interior of the Bellroy Tech Kit. It does have a couple spots for a pen. This is a regular size Sharpie and it can slide in there nicely. It also has a, a smaller one here, but it's a little elastic. So it that Sharpie does fit, but it's it's meant for a more a smaller size pen. There's also one here at the top where there's a slight logo right there at the top. So a couple spots for pens and Sharpies do fit. The, uh, the This is a stretchy mesh material right here and there's two pockets right there. And these are, these are nice texture material. These are nice texture. And I think what overall, the reason I say this is the most underrated is just because of how well the materials uh, come together. It's a water resistant woven fabric and it's made from recycled materials, but it feels, I always, I, I'll tell you, I like the way Bellroy products feel. I think they, they have a very nice texture to them. Um, and this was the first Bellroy product I got and I, I, I liked it so much. I've, I've tried some other Bellroy products now. And, uh, and I'm not disappointed, these, these feel wonderful. Let's look at this top side here. This, uh, this is what the clever thing about it. It's got a magnet here that keeps this little pouch shut when you're not using it, but it's an expandable sort of a, um, sort of a pouch. It has a lot of room in there. You can fit, you can fit a lot in there and it, and it, it gets bigger the more you stuff in there. So there's, so there's some give to how this pocket how big this pocket can get. And then on the inside of this pocket, there's a spot for 
um, some business cards or credit cards or something in there. When I first got this, I thought it was gonna be pretty rigid. It seems like it would be very rigid, um, but it actually, it, it, it has a lot of give to it. It has a lot of squish to it. So if you're, if you're not full, if you don't have it full, it's gonna compress a little bit so that it can take up a little less space. Um, but it just has a wonderful feel to it. So I'm a fan of this Bellroy and I think it's underrated. I think it wins the award for most underrated. This is the Low Pro Gear Up Pouch Mini. And I have a couple different sizes of these. I have the, the Mini, I have the Medium, and I have the, the Cube. And uh, they're just, overall, they're a little disappointing. Uh, this one did not win an award. But um, the materials are good. It's made from recycled materials. And I like the idea that it has this clear see-through window, although it's, it's only kind of barely see-through. But there's a, a lot of things that could be improved on. Let's take a quick look at one of them. You unzip all the way around. Now, you can see here the zipper. You can see how the zipper is only attached right here and here. So as you open it up, I, your risk of all your stuff just kind of falling out is pretty high, including this thing that comes with it. This is a just a, a cord organizer that comes with it, and you can put your stuff in there. But it doesn't, it doesn't attach anywhere. It's not stuck in here. So as soon as you're out in the out somewhere walking around or trying to open it, this thing could literally fall out of the ground. You don't even notice and you walk off and all your nice organized cables are lying on the ground somewhere or in the water or whatever. So I think this concept is like kind of okay, but it should, it should, be, it should be hinged or it should be attached in here a little bit, kind of like the Nomadic um, where it, it, it doesn't fall out. I mean, that's whatever, I mean, that's a strange thing. Um, but in, you know, in here, it's got a couple more of these elastic cable organizers and it's got one big pocket back here that doesn't have much depth. So if you're organizing cables, I think this thing is kind of okay. And that's how I use the larger one. I use it to organize some audio cables in my audio kit bag. It's just not that useful of a tech pouch, um, to me. Maybe you love it, but I just thought I'd show it to you. No award for the low pro. So I'll say this about Low Pro. They are hyping themselves a lot on their website about like how they're committed to a lot more sustainable materials going forward. And especially in 2024, they'll be releasing um, a new way of measuring how much sustainable material is in or recycled materials are in their products. And so I think that's pretty cool. They're going to have it right on the label so you can see how much of the thing you're using was made from recycled materials. I think that's pretty smart. So I support Low Pro from that regard. I just wish they could design these pouches a little better. Okay, moving right along, we have the Peak Design Tech Pouch. You know, this has been around for several years now, and this is the tech pouch that got me in the tech pouches. And so the award, <laughs> it's funny, the award that this one gets is Lifetime Achievement Award. And I say lifetime, meaning like, I don't know, the last five or six years. Uh, and you know, Lifetime Achievement Award being like, for me, this is the one that's got the most miles on it. I've been using this thing a lot since then, and it, it it shows no sign of wear. It's made from recycled materials. This origami style organization is, is really effective and really clever for, for keeping stuff organized instead of a messy pile of bundle of cables and crap. Um, I like that about it. The only downside that I can say about this overall is honestly, I put too much stuff in it because it has all these millions of pockets. It's got pockets everywhere, pen, hold, pen holders, elastic, elastic here, elastic here, elastic here. It's got a zippered secret compartment in here with more pockets on the inside there, uh, more pockets here and here, and more pockets here, here, and here, and more pen holders. I just end up loading this thing way too full of stuff that I actually don't need. That's not a peak design problem. That's a Kendrick problem. And of course, if you want to, you can turn this thing into a sling using their uh, specialized hardware that they sell separately. And so uh, that's pretty cool. It's got some exterior handles on the top and the sides. And it's, uh, it's, it's really durable. Um, it squishes. That's, that's another great thing about it is it's not full. It does squish down pretty well. And I'm not too worried about like squeezing it into a backpack that's nearly full already or squeezed in between some camera gear. And it's just kind of full of 
full of stuff, but it still squeezes. So I like that, and that's why for me, this one uh, personally has won my Lifetime Achievement Award for most miles uh, used. It's traveled with me all over the world. Um, which brings me to another one. This, this right here. This is the same bag as this, but this is a, the Huckberry exclusive version. It's the uh, X-Pac Coyote colorway and it's made from slightly different materials, more water resistant, and otherwise it's the same on the interior. Lots of, lots of, you know, I got, I mean, this is the one I've, I've been using lately. So it's still got a bunch of stuff in there, but it is a, uh, it's a great pouch as well. And I've already, I already gave away, uh, I already gave away one of these. So if you weren't subscribed to my channel, you might've missed the opportunity for you to win the, when your copy of this and the backpack that goes with it. So I'm sorry that you missed out, but it's because you need to subscribe and you need to keep watching, hit the bell so you're notified because I do other giveaways on this channel. But this one is not a giveaway today. But thank you for Huckberry for sending it to me to review. These two uh, classics. All right, we got another award winner right here for you. This is the Power Packer by Side by, a company called Side by Side. They reached out to me pretty recently, asked me if I wanted to check this thing out, and I said, I do. And it's, it's, it wins the award for most innovative tech pouch. This thing is, is pretty clever. It's got a lot of cool things going on. So I want to show it to you. First off, it's shaped differently than most of them. It's got a top handle and it, it works really well if you like to slide this tech pouch down into your bag like this. It might go well, it might fit really well into a, uh, a water bottle holder on the outside of your bag and you can just pull it out and, and be on your way. So the shape of it and the handle on top is pretty great. Maybe uh, even on the airplane, maybe it, it fits into the, the thing in front of your seat real well. So you can just pull it out and access it. it. But it's a kind of a crazy looking, crazy functioning device. I think the thing that makes it real innovative is actually the material. It's a real stretchy exterior. So you can put a lot more stuff in here than it seems. Um, let's take a quick look at the pockets coming around this way. You've got this kind of partial zip on the backside, but you've got a real stretchy, real stretchy pocket here. And this is where uh, we've got the Mac Apple charger. This is the big one for the 16 inch, um, but it can fit in here. And it can, it, for, I had it in here this way. Let's see if we can go in sideways. See that? See how it's stretching that out a whole lot? I wouldn't suggest storing it in there sideways, but this thing can handle it because this, all of this is a real stretchy material. Uh, like it, it can fit a lot in there. And it's, it's only stretchy in the middle parts, so I don't think you gotta worry so much about the edges tearing because they're reinforced, but the middle gives it that stretch and, it, and it, it's a pretty genius design. Let's look at the, the other pocket. Yeah, it's basically three compartments. It has that first compartment we looked at, and then it's got this compartment right here. It's got these elastic bands, and these are obviously good for putting in cables. It's got a pen holder in the middle, and you know, smaller, smaller headphones and stuff like that. And then it's got this flap, and you've got more storage here. You've got a zippered compartment right there for business cards or, or other cards. More of these elastic bands. These are pretty small. I'm not really sure what these right here would be used for, but uh, just more places to store these items. Now this does, I did test this, this does fit in this compartment. But because of this flap not having elastic it makes it a little harder to zip. It zips fine. We're not going to have any trouble zipping it, but it's not the, it's not really the best way to try and make that fit in there. See, you can kind of see that it's like sticking out funny and under, in a pinch, that's fine. I would roll with that in a pinch, but that's not how I'd want to carry it. But that just shows off the flexibility of this thing. 
it's just a unique design. It's most, it's pretty innovative with the stretch material. So it wins the award for most innovative tech pouch here in my stack. We got the mystery ranch spiff kit. Now what's crazy about this thing is this isn't a tech pouch. This is a, meant to be a little bit more of a dop kit, but the truth is uh, I tried it as a dop kit and I didn't like it as a dop kit because it did not have a hook. It did not have a, a way to hang, hang in the bathroom. So it's important to me that when I have a dop kit that I'm able to hang it somewhere and access it without all the stuff falling out. And so uh, this does not have that. And I'm thinking this is, works pretty well as a tech pouch. So let's try it. Let's put the, uh, let's put the, the cable, power cable right here in this power in that cable. Let's put the, the brick in the zippered part. And you can see that that works fine. And then you can put more stuff in this side. On this side, we've got some elastic pockets down here in the bottom. There's two of them. And that would work. That works pretty well for a mouse or something like that. Um, and it's orange, so you can see your stuff pretty well. And you just zip it up. And I think if you're if you're one of the types who's worried about your little doodads falling out, this is a good one because it zips up and keeps them safe. So I think it works pretty well as a tech pouch, and it's pretty small. You got these handles on two sides, these orange handles. Um, it's a, they don't work real well for hanging the packet, hanging it in the bathroom. So, you know, off the corner of a desk or something like that, I think that works fine. But just throwing this lightweight little thing into a, into a, into a backpack is going to be great. It's got white YKK zippers as well. The Mystery Ranch Spiff Kit not only is a, uh, a nice little tech pouch, but it's also one of the ones I'm going to give away. So check the description for how to enter the giveaway. Okay, I want to show you the Think Tank EDC tech pouch. This is the 20 size version. They also have two other sizes. Uh, they've got the 10 and they've got a five. I've made a video about this. Uh, you can look at that, that video there. I made a video about all three of these. So for, for now, we'll look at this uh, Tech Pouch 20. And this is a, a decent sized Tech Pouch. Uh, it's got a lot of pockets. But in the video, I, I sort of explain one of the biggest problems I have with this, with this Tech Pouch, which is it opens like a book and that's fine, but the pockets all face outward. So, you know, if, if, I mean, let's just put, let's just put the battery in there. So right now you may even be able to predict what's going to happen. If I open this up and let this, let this fall out, then that, that, <laughs> that's going to fall out a little jiggle. falls out. You know what I mean? So I think they've got these pockets oriented the wrong direction. If they had the pockets oriented upward, you could still open it like a book, but you wouldn't risk your stuff falling out. It is large enough to fit an iPad mini in this Tech Pouch 20. Um, but it's just got these cable organizers and it's got some pockets. Uh, it's got one zippered pocket here. So if they could just come out with version two and fix the fix the the problem I have with it, I'd be a lot happier with this. Um, the smaller ones are kind of the same same design, same problem, but a little a little less so because you can see this one points upward. Um, so that one's not going to fall out. So it's half fixed. But anyway, that's the e Think Tank EDC Tech Pouch Pro. And Think Tank's one of my favorite brands, so I'm not dogging on them. I just think they, uh, I think they got opportunity to improve. Let's look at another award winner. This is the Alpaca Tech Case Mini. And the award that it wins is Sexiest Tech Pouch. Now, what do I mean by that? I just think it looks great. I mean, I think that's what it comes down to. This thing looks awesome. Um, it's, it's olive green. It's got big aqua guard zip all the way around. Uh, it's X pack material and it's set up a little bit like the peak design where it opens up like that. So it's a little bit like that. It's got these guards on the edges to keep your stuff from falling out. It's got a nice big pocket here. It's got a zippered pocket right there. It's got a couple of elastic 
mesh pockets here and a pen holder, which I like pen holders. Uh, it's got a lot of functionality. It's got a, a pocket back here on the back, on the outside actually. Um, and it comes with the strap to make it a sling, kind of like the other alpaca. So it's, it's pretty flexible. Um, and I just think it looks great. Like to me, it's a sexy tech pouch. Now, as far as functionality wise, I found it to be a little too narrow, honestly. Um, not necessarily too narrow, but just a little narrow, which in certain bags, I think that's perfect. So I mean, this one's definitely gonna stick around. I'll use it sometimes, but uh, I think it's a little too narrow. Like I wanna be able to throw some sunglasses in at some point. And I feel like this is a little too narrow for sunglasses, but it just has a real nice, it's got a nice material here on the back and it's, it's just a nice little, it's a nice little tech pouch. Bag lovers and tech pouch nerds, we have award winner uh, right here. This is the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 2 liter. And uh, for, for me, this wins the award of best desk caddy option. Uh, I really like it for that reason. It's a little big for some use cases. Now compare it, you know, compare it to this look how look how much thicker it is and and give me i said i wanted one to be a little thicker so i'm not complaining but it can be a little big but it's really well thought out really well designed so let's take a look at that functionality as far as desk caddy the zippers pull around and it flips open and it sits on your desk just like that and so you have access to all your things so you got your your you know your cords nice and organized and you just have access to it. So uh, this, this also moves based on what you might need. So it can, it can be flat up against these pockets here and create room. It's got pockets along the edges so you can organize a little bit on each edge. It's got pockets here on the outside. These are great for business cards. It, the lid, the lid is one of the cleverest designs because it's accessible from this side. So you, you know, you put your, put your items in there, but then if you want to quick access it, your items, you have it right there. So I think that's, it's real smart. Just a super smart. It's, it's got a little rigidity to it, but not a ton. So it, it will, it will, it will mush a little bit. It's a little squishy, but not a ton, especially here on the bottom. It's meant to protect your things. So it'll, it'll squish a little more flat wise, but it's squishing a lot less this way. So what is this one right here? This is, this is a, uh, a limited edition version of this one. So this is the, the Griffin collection of the Evergoods Civic Access pouch. And it's this, it's exactly the same design. This one is just made from a waxed canvas and it has leather pull tabs. It looks a lot like leather to me. It feels like leather and looks like leather. So that's pretty interesting. But on the inside, look at that orange. Look at that. A lot of people are digging these bright orange interiors. I'm not a hater, but it's not my favorite. Uh, it's a little, it's a little, <laughs> having this sitting on your desk, um, that's a little loud. It's definitely a little loud. And especially if you're the type of person who likes you know, a, a nice classic leathery heritage style waxed canvas type product and you open it up and it's like, Jesus Christ, uh, where am I? Um, that is so bright. Uh, so I, I think that might be a, a miss. To me, that's a little bit of a miss. Just this bright orange interior is a little too hot. It was a limited edition item and I think it's sold out at this point. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the collection of tech pouches that I have and I've used and tested and played with. Uh, be sure to check the giveaway descriptions and links. Be sure to check out huckberry.com because they're the ones who are able to make sure I can give away a couple of these things. They, they gave me the Bellroy and they gave me the, the Mystery Ranch and Side by Side. Be sure to check out Side by Side. They sent me the, the Power Packer. Um, Huckberry also sent me the, the, the limited edition uh, Coyote Tan X-Pack version of the design, Peak Design pouch. So ch check that because this is a limited edition. It's going to sell out soon if it hasn't already. Uh, so that's it, man. I hope you enjoyed the Tech Pouch Awards show. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be sure and subscribe.